everyone, it's Tawny. I know it has been a while since we have dived into a video on this channel, but through moving, through COVID, we're back, and I'm excited to dive into kind of a regular schedule with all of you. Um, but during the last few months, a lot of stuff has happened. Um, we had a big death in the family with my husband's grandmother, who he did care for and caretake for for a very long time. Um, we bought our first house and did a big move. Um, and then obviously there's a lot of pressure and a lot of stuff going on in the world around us with COVID. Uh, you know, we might be able to kind of see out of the forest, but we're not quite out yet. So it is still a lot of pressure, whether you are experiencing weight gain during COVID, whether you're experiencing um, mental health uh, issues where you're feeling, you know, really down or you're feeling um, that you have a lot more anxiety or your depression is starting up, whatever the case may be, a lot of people are experiencing a lot of mental health drops right now. Um, and is still we're experiencing a lot of advertisements that are telling us now's your chance, you know, we're all working at home, like seize the moment, go out, do these things, write that book you wanted to write. Uh, you know, spring clean while we're all at home. There's all these extra pressures while we're still trying to adjust to working from home or parenting from home or whatever the case may be, or schooling your kids from home. There's so much pressure that's put on us right now. And this video is just for me to look straight at you and say, go easy on yourself. It's not just you. A lot of people are finding that they're losing that motivation to work out or to do the things that they really love. Or if you were a part of group sports or group activities that now can't meet, um, it can be very, very discouraging and make you feel like you're not doing anything. Listen, a lot of us are in the same boat and we have to be gentle with ourselves because when we're stressing out over doing all of these different things, we forget that we're living through something um, very unique right now for us, something that is uh, not forever and something that is going to apply a lot of that pressure and a lot of that stress and a lot of that you know, weight on our mental health without us even realizing it. I remember at the beginning, of this, you know, six months in and stuff, I was feeling like, this is awesome. I get a break. Like, this is great. Like, this is nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive into my PJs every day and this will be, you know, absolutely fantastic. But I wondered why I still felt really sad or why I still felt really overwhelmed during this time where everything was supposed to be, you know, easy and great and that was supposed to be the benefit of being able to, you know, stay at home or not have to go see people all the time or whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, I'm an introverted extrovert, so I was right in the middle there. But uh, I had to be gentle with myself and realize that my body and my mind were going through something that I was perhaps not fully able to understand. Um, and I think that is that way for a lot of people where they're like, why do I feel this way? You know, it's Groundhog's Day every day. Why do I feel so worn down even though I didn't do anything the day before? But be gentle with yourself. Understand that things are going to change. And when you start to feel that motivation, realize also that the world has changed to kind of better cater to us at home. If you're wanting to explore, you know, further education or learn a new trade, all of us have been working so hard to put up videos and tutorials and how to's and reviews on the internet to kind of help ease you into these different paths that you want, things that maybe weren't as readily accessible before the pandemic. So when you are ready, these things are gonna be there for you and they'll be plentiful and you will have more than enough time to engage with them. But for now, take it easy on yourself, and if all you did was get out of bed, throw on a shirt and walk around the house today, or maybe you didn't throw on a shirt, um, that is fine, that is enough, you are enough. Take care of yourselves out there, this is all going to go back to normal at some point, and we will be better prepared to take care of ourselves mentally, emotionally, physically, when it does happen, if we start to just kind of give ourselves that grace right now. You all so much and I can't wait to make more videos here with you very soon.